This is Mike with Bill Brothers. We are doing a roof inspection on a concrete S-tile. And we are at 1198 Via Escalante in Chula Vista. The homeowner has had a couple leaks. Um, and they're on over here on this side of the roof. Um, underneath the panels here and also there. Um, general condition of the roof, obviously, it's in pretty good shape. Um, there are a few broken tiles that I can see, um, but the condition of the tiles is pretty good. Obviously, more sun, you don't get much, as much growth. You can kind of see here where it's not as much sun, you get a little bit more uh, growth. Uh, you do have a cracked ridge cap right here. Um, the leak's coming from somewhere over here the only place um, you know we normally would look at straight at the dormer I can see the tile pan on the dormer um, I don't see any visible spots where you know potential leak but this could be the culprit um, I can't see underneath the panels um, there is that ridge cap over there it's cracked water could be getting down there and following its way and coming in and going down onto your roof same issue over here on this pan this, these panels um, I can't see any visible I do see a slip tile right there you've got some cracked tiles right here um, I am noticing right here there is a slip tile right there <clears throat> so see that so that's exposing see your underlayment right there that's exposing your underlayment. So, and that's underneath the panel. So that should be slid up. So if that one slid, there could be more and that could be part of the problem too. Um, one of the items I did notice though, is fundamentally this valley is super tight. It should be at least four inches wide. So you can get, so when debris lands in there, the water can flow it out. So fundamental issue, you got a little crack piece there. Um, same problem over here on this side with the uh, valley, super tight valley over here as well. Uh, you have dormer vents over here. You've got your pipe vents. But again, here I can't see where the leak's coming from other than, you know, if tiles are slipping underneath um, and, get, you know, been exposed to water, that's going to cause you problems. Uh, like this, like that tile right there seems really low compared to the rest. Um, your mortar cap is starting to crack. You can kind of see this. See that? I can lift that right up. And I can see that's wood right there and your wood's soft and gooey. So that's a potential problem too. It might be going down in there and falling its way down. Um, so again, a uh, couple options. Uh, really at the end of the day is this whole area we need to lift lift get rid of the solar panels lift this whole area redo all the underlayment make sure there's no wood issues because it has been leaking um, and then reset but if you're having leaks in a couple of different areas i would worry about the whole roof potentially having the same problem as i come over here you've got this crack right here water could be going down this side as well You've got this mortar cap right here. It's completely, so it's come apart. So it's exposing, it's exposed, exposing the sun and water to straight down in there. And then also um, this side, you've got the same problem. You can see you've, your valleys are super tight and completely sealed off. So we can't even see where the, uh, the valley, at least all those tiles are kind of slipping down and over, and that shouldn't be the way. Again, four inches wide. Um, I did find one down here when I came up originally. There was a slip tile. I think it's this one right here. It's not even nailed. See, see it's supposed to be nailed. And then you can see your underlayment. It's just crusty and all that debris that's collecting under there. So, uh, honestly, I would, I would probably suggest a lift and reset on the entire roof. Uh, and removal of the panels and then redo all the underlayment redo these valleys reset all the flashings metal flashings but we'll discuss all those options for the homeowner